Do you buy coffee every day from a cafe that gives out styrofoam cups? You may think what you're drinking has no environmental effect, but in fact, the production of polystyrene, or more commonly known as styrofoam, involves chemicals such as HCFC, which depletes the stratospheric ozone layer. The HCFCs are released into the atmosphere during the production of styrofoam and break into atomic chlorine, which then destroys ozone molecules. There are over 25 million styrofoam cups thrown out every year, adding to the amount of HCFC chemicals in the stratosphere. Our nation averages over a half a million tons of garbage per day, and by volume, styrofoam waste takes up 25 to 30 percent of our nation's landfill space. Although styrofoam breaks into pieces easily, it will take 500 years for the cup to dissolve completely. The role of the ozone layer is to reflect ultraviolet rays and UVB radiation from the sun, protecting the life on Earth. As HCFCs are released into the stratosphere, they are creating holes in the ozone layer. Since the ozone hole first formed, there has been a 6 to 12 percent reduction in the size of the polar ice caps. The increased levels of UVB radiation are rapidly melting the ice, causing ocean levels to rise throughout the world. Another very serious effect of ozone depletion is the destruction of phytoplankton in the ocean. Phytoplankton are crucial in removing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and play a key role as the base of the ocean food web. Without phytoplankton, we would lose the vital ecological services they provide. UV radiation exposure is directly related to the development of human cataracts. A 1% drop in stratospheric ozone would cause an additional 3,400 cases of blindness due to cataracts each year. You could be one of them. Do you realize that every time you head out to the beach for a day in the sun, you are putting yourself in serious risk of getting skin cancer? The increased amount of UVB rays causes non-melanoma skin cancer and plays a big role in the development of malignant melanoma. The ozone layer may be reduced by as much as 7% by the end of the century, which could result in 100,000 extra cases of non-melanoma skin cancer by mid-century. Simply by using styrofoam cups, you are contributing to the global issue of ozone depletion. Instead of using the very detrimental styrofoam, there are a variety of alternatives such as thermoses, corn-based plastic products, paper cups, and more. Help the cause. Stop ozone depletion.